content produced by controversial preacher Paul McKenzie, appearing before the Senate Arab Committee investigating Shakaola deaths. The Communications Authority of Kenya Director General Ezra Chiloba say the authority faced various limitations in dealing with McKenzie's content on social media. For some information which we provided around registration process, around operation. Appearing before the Senate committee investigating the Shakahola massacre, the Director General of the Communications Authority of Kenya, Ezra Chiloba, had a difficult time to explain why the controversial Pastor Paul Mackenzie's content had not been pulled down from social media. Aren't you able to do something? Because this, this is what our voters are telling us. Do something. Because maybe our children are still following the content. Do something. Can't you do something? When you request me to pull down content from Facebook, it does not mean that it's actually my people sitting behind the computer doing it. We have a mechanism of reaching out to Facebook, and they have people behind that who are able now, once they know that this has been flagged by the regulatory agency in, the, in a particular jurisdiction, then they enable you to take it down. Chiloba stressing that CAK does not have the full legal capacity to delete anything on the internet content and we've supported a lot of uh, even individual members of parliament in terms of that intervention but it's not done directly by us we actually have to go back for example to identify who is the host of that particular platform and you'll find that a lot of these things that happen in this country are not even hosted here they're outside our jurisdiction in addition, the Interior Ministry has confirmed that it has determined that Mackenzie registered his identification card twice, making changes on his date of birth. Uh, mis misinformation or misrepresentation of fact, when someone says his, death of, his date of birth, his DOB is 1973, his DOB is 19, the other one was 76, um, you have his fingerprints, you release, you release uh, a new ID, you, you, you are seeing there's a problem and you don't, you don't uh, follow him up. It, it is indeed an offense. I just wanted a confirmation. And if it is, what action have you taken? Have, have you brought it to the uh, attention of the ODPP? And uh, why should he, why should I, for example, give different doesn't that, doesn't that say something about that person? And if they are misleading a whole uh, institution, uh, as important institution as the, the, uh, the one you are heading, don't you think they should be punished for that? Chiloba also making it clear that laws regulating communications in the country are strong and there is need to strengthen laws aimed at controlling religious organizations. To, to see how we can, um, you know, come up with laws, enhance what we have, uh, because we are not starting from scratch, we have something that we can work with. But I think we can better our laws, we can make them better by making sure that uh, it's either we, uh, we, we strengthen them, to make sure that there's clarity in terms of how to resolve issues to do with hate speech, religious content. Audrey Cherotich, Look Up TV. Moving forward.